Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. If you watched my previous video, which is a 10 cards, one kit using all of that beautiful ephemera you see up there, you may have noticed in the end stills that I created some lined envelopes to match each of my cards. So I wanted to show you quickly how I did that. Super simple, you don't need any special template or machine. Um, you can just take the six by six pattern paper that comes in the kit and you're gonna open up your envelope, lay out and match up one of the corners of the paper to the corner of the envelope, just moving that slightly lower so that the sticky part will still be there. And then just to help you out, you can tape that down with some washi tape very carefully. You don't want it to be too sticky. Um, you can also use post-it tape. And then you're gonna mark the side edges of that paper along the envelope. So I used um, just a little pokey tool that I have to slide along the edge. You could use a pencil, anything to mark that for you. Then you're gonna trim off those side pieces. Then you wanna make sure that you have enough to cover the opening that you're gonna see um, when the envelope is flipped up. So for me, I just went to the bottom corner there, trimmed that off right where the V met, and then I'm gonna slide this inside my envelope, make sure it fits. You may need to trim a little bit more off of one or both of the sides, um, but it should give you a pretty close fit. I'm going to add some ATG just at the top V portion of that, which is going to allow the paper that's on the inside of the envelope to move around when you move the flap. Um, that just seems to help and it, it doesn't, uh, it keeps it from tearing. So then, as you see, I grabbed my ruler and went along the crease of that fold, just did a little score there on the paper, and then you can easily fold that over. Really simple, really easy to do. I'm going to show that to you one more time here, because I know sometimes it helps to see things more than once. Lining up the corner of my paper with the top of the envelope, taking my ruler and just using something to score or mark along the side edges. I'll trim off those little triangles there. And then I'm gonna trim off the bottom triangle, making sure I have my pattern paper the correct way that I want it. Um, I have trimmed off the wrong side of that and ended up with upside down paper before, so we've all been there. There you can see this one is fitting a little tighter than the other, um, so I'm going to trim just a smidge off on the side. Make sure that it fits in there nice and smoothly. Go ahead and line up that V there. And once I'm happy with that, I will add some ATG down. And then again, I will take my ruler and just run my bone folder along the crease there to help that fold a little bit easier. And there you have some really simple but pretty lined envelopes. Hope this helped you guys out, maybe gave you something new to try. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.